This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Right, so on your screen right now, you will see the names of, alphabetically, April Hunter, Caroline Dubois, Clarissa Shields, Ebony Jones, Georgia O'Connor, and Savannah Marshall. All of these women are now multi-fight deals with Sky Sports Boxer. And I can guarantee you that Eddie Hearn will not be happy about this whatsoever. Of course, there's an obvious one, which we'll cover in a second. But Eddie Hearn, he said for a long time how he wants to put women's boxing on the map and uh, create pay-per-view fighters out of them and all that kind of stuff. And he's been doing a fantastic job. Okay, so this is not a video to discredit him or diss him in any kind of way. Okay, I support Eddie Hearn and what it is that he does, along with uh, Matchroom, DAZN, etc. Okay, but he's not going to be happy with this one. Reason being is that he wants to control women's boxing, okay? And with the most obvious one, let's start off there. Clarissa Shields and Savannah Marshall. That's a fight that he's been hankering for for a long, long time. Is that a word, hankering? I don't know. But he's been really wanting to do that fight for a long time. In fact, once so long ago, he was talking about that fight potentially being a pay-per-view fight. Potentially being... The headline fight to sell out an arena, maybe even a stadium. I'm sure that um, he even mentioned the word stadium once before as well, where both of these girls could earn crazy amounts of money each. It wasn't so long ago that he was talking about that. So now Clarissa Shields and Savannah Marshall are under the stable of Sky Sports, not Matchroom to Zone. That's really, really going to annoy him. I can guarantee you that. Now, of course, if he listens to this video, he's going to say that I'm talking like a complete load of waffle. I guarantee you he's going to be very, very upset about that one. Because when you look at, say, some of his fighters, listen, he's doing fantastic with women's boxing. But he's got a whole bunch of women's fighters. But ha so does Lou DiBella. What happens with Lou DiBella? Will Sky Sports reach out to, to Lou DiBella? Will DAZN reach out to, one, um, to him? Because he has a lot of women's fighters under his management. OK, so that's going to be something interesting going forward. Now, so Clarissa Shields and Savannah Marshall, that's going to be something that he's going to be very, very upset about. Now, you can look at the other ones as well, say Ebony Jones. Now, I was on the panel with uh, Ring IQ today, uh, Julia, so big up to him, where he said that he had heard from very, very good sources that Ebony Jones has been lacing up on a regular basis, Shannon Courtney. So that ain't going to be good news if you're Eddie Hearn, because we all know that Shannon Courtney, she's very, very limited. For me, she's, I don't even overrate her. I don't rate her, really. I think that uh, she is losses waiting to happen. I really do. I think, okay, I'm sure you lost to uh, Rachel Ball. Um, we get that. But she's very, very vulnerable. Yeah, she's a world champion. Should she be a world champion at this far into her career? No, but this tells you that the women's division is not that deep. OK, so it won't take too long for, for the likes of Ebony Jones and Caroline Dubois, by the way, who's going to be fighting at a super bantamweight, Ebony Jones featherweight. Again, women, they can move around in between weight classes. You'll see it all the time. Like one, one fight, they're fighting at featherweight. Next, they're fighting at super featherweight. Then they're going to be fighting at bantamweight. You know, they tend to jot around, move up in weight, down in weight quite a bit. So... The likes of Caroline Dubois and Ebony Jones won't be long, potentially, that they're going to be knocking on the door of Shannon Courtney. That's not good news if you're Eddie Hearn. It's really not good news. Also, you've got, say, April Hunter. April Hunter, um, all four of her fights, actually, were on Matchroom and uh, um, DAZN, Sky Sports and that before. But, again, I mean, I'm very biased when it comes to April. Of course, I know her um, pretty well. Um, in fact, I interviewed her. Uh, to announce that uh, she's turning pro. And of course, I was the first person to interview her after her professional debut. So of course, I'm going to be very biased with her, but she's a welterweight. Welterweight, what does that mean? Not too far along. And again, she's going to be knocking on the door of, say, Jessica McCaskill. Now, is Jessica McCaskill, is she signed with uh, DAZN Matchroom? I don't know exactly her status. I know that uh, Cecilia Breakhouse was, when well, no, she was the undisputed champion, but of course, Jessica McCaskill has uh, since defeated her twice. So what's happening with Jessica McCaskill? Is she a, is she a Ludi Bella fighter? I don't know, okay? Um, someone's going to have to clarify that one for me. But it won't be long before, say, April Hunter is knocking on the door of her. Likewise with Georgia O'Connor. Georgia O'Connor, she's going to be making her professional debut on October 16th. Again, I know her. 
Um, she trains at the Vision Gym near me alongside Stephen Robinson and uh, Mark Clizel. So Georgia, now she's listed by boxer as middleweight. I don't believe she's going to be middleweight. I mean, she may make her debut as middleweight, I don't know. But going forward, it's going to be either super welterweight or welterweight. Okay, so again, you're going to be having her knock on the door of these world champions very, very quickly. And the fact that she's an outstanding amateur. I mean, she won so much stuff as an amateur, it's unbelievable. In fact, though, she was the only person in the UK to have won, I believe it was uh, the Commonwealth, um, the Commonwealth um, uh, medals twice. Okay, so anyway, she's an absolutely outstanding fighter. She's a lovely person as well. And again, she was one of the fighters that I actually recommended to Eddie Hearn. And I know that he took it serious because within an hour of me uh, doing it, he started following her on social media. So he missed out on the opportunity of that one. Why? Probably because he thought that, um, you know, he's Eddie Hearn, he can just sign these people up as and when he wants. It didn't quite work out that way, okay? With the uh, Sky Sport and the Zone, there's going to be some very, very interesting fights going on. There's going to be some battles going on, okay? He could have and maybe should have signed Georgia O'Connor. But hey, what do I know? I'm sporting icons, okay? Much like when I recommended uh, Stephen Robinson. He didn't do it. Barry Hearn wanted to, but um, Eddie didn't. In fact, I even recommended to him that when Andy Ruiz Jr. left top rank, you need to sign up Andy Ruiz Jr. Hey, what do I know? What do I know, okay? Anyway, that is what it is. But with the women's divisions, this is really going to upset him. Because he wants women's uh, boxing on lockdown under his control. Now, all it takes is, say, someone like a Chantel Cameron, who is a fantastic fighter. She really is. If she signs with, say, a Sky Sport, I don't know what her future plans are. I don't know. But if she does, then he's in a whole lot of trouble as far as women's boxing is concerned. Don't me wrong. Okay, he's got a lot of women's boxing. Of course he does. Um, what's happening with Natasha Jonas? Again, we don't know. Um... I would imagine that, say, Ebony Bridges is probably going to continue with uh, Matchroom. But Katie Taylor, I've been a huge fan of hers. I think that uh, she's absolutely fantastic. But again, we have to be realistic. Over her last couple of fights, she looks like she's in the decline. That's the truth of it. She does look like she's in on a bit of a slide, so I don't know. But either way, Eddie Hearn will not be happy with these particular signings from a boxer. Especially the Clarissa Shields and Savannah Marshall one. That is for sure. And Caroline Dubois. He wanted to sign up all the GB squad. This one he missed out on. Anyway, my thoughts. You drop me yours. Click thumbs up. And of course, subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next video.